I'm here at the Azure Islands Aquatic Sandbox, and I'm going to show you some things you should know about using Undo in Second Life. First of all, I just create a cube, generic cube would do. And for example, say I change the position, just move it, just very basic move. I go to Edit, then Undo. Okay, see, that worked. I'm going to pop this off, tear off the menu so you can get a better view of what I'm doing. Build tools are on the right. Now, say I change something with the numeric uh, entry fields here. Say I want to change the X size to one meter. Okay. You notice how that got grayed out? It's because now this has focus. So if you, if you just do the control Z shortcut, this confuses some residents. It's not going to work. Seems a bit clunky, but what you have to do is click on the object gain. Now you see how it's lit up? then you can undo. So this has led to uh, some puzzlement over, you know, it's not letting me undo if I use these fields, but actually it does. It just has to, um, you just have to make sure that the object itself has focus. Okay. Next up, remember that as I've written, <laughs> it's mainly the position, size, and rotation that you can undo. Say you rotate this like that, you can see it's very clearly visible. Again, you have to click on it and undo. Or if you're holding control and then rotating it directly, notice how the object still has focus, so you can go ahead and control Z to undo that move. Okay? Uh, one of the things that bugs a lot of residents, I know this very well because I goofed up myself, is you cannot undo most of these parameters. So if you like flip the textures, okay, that unfortunately does not work. If you change the color, that unfortunately does not work, neither does texturing. So be very careful. If you're going to retexture something, it's best to work with a backup copy. Always have a backup copy. Saves you time, gives you peace of mind. I have to recommend it highly. Based on my mistakes, please learn from them. <laughs> I've moved from sand to snow and now I'm going to show you a little more about how multiple undos work. Multiple steps, okay? Say I take I create another prim, like this, then I move it to here, okay, then I move it to here. Now each one of those steps is remembered, so if you undo, goes back, undo again. You can do this for so many steps, you can make it go in formations like that, and it will remember that. Undo, 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 and back to the beginning as you can see. And now for a change of scenery, and we're on the grass. I want to show you a really handy, unorthodox use of undo. Have you ever had an object that was lost in a wall, and you didn't want to move the wall because you were concerned that you may never move it back in place? Well, that's what undo is for. I've got this hat here. It's a nice hat, a nice pink hat, it's a nice big hat, and I'm just going to say, oh crap, I lost it in the wall. What do I do now? Hmm. Well, natural thing, your instinct is to move the wall, and that's right. So, move the wall. Now, here's the important thing to remember. Each object you move in Second Life has its own chain of undos. So if you move one, then you move another, it doesn't get in the way. It, it remembers what the other object did before. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you. Let me illustrate words are bad for this sort of thing. Okay, so I see the hat. Now I want to pull the hat back so it's not going to get in that wall. I can undo that. Control Z. I can put it back. Okay, now I'm not going to undo that. But I do want to undo the wall because I've moved the wall out of alignment. Say this was part of a house. Well, I can do that. It's back where it originally was. As we've seen, Second Life's Undo has some frustrating limitations, but it also has some creative benefits. One of those, as I mentioned earlier, is the importance in realizing each object has its own chain of undos. I'm going to show you something related here. Let me zoom in. Okay, say I want to move this up, but accidentally, I'm a sloppy hands. I click, whoa, oh, dang it. I moved it to the left when I wanted to touch the blue arrow. Well, you could finagle and try to align. Oh, that's wasteful. Please don't do that. Just undo, undo, undo. There, and then just move it up. Remember, see, you can move that, that, you can move that this way, and you can undo independently. Magic, or advanced technology. 